I think that Big Brother, Bibi Niger, as we call it, Big Brother Nigeria, is the, perhaps the most consequential TV experience of my lifetime. It is a phenomenon. Like it or hate it, watch it or not, be uppity and sublime or, or vain like the rest of us and, uh, and mundane. We all can't escape the huge impact of Bibi Niger. Now, it would be an exaggeration to say that every young person I know wants to be on Bibi Niger, but it would just be almost an exaggeration. Almost. So for this episode of With True Day, we decided to do something special. As the show ends tomorrow and the new winner emerges, we decided that for, I think, the first time in the history of the show, we will have former housemates from different years sit together to tell us about how Big Brother Niger has changed their lives. It's the hustle Bibi Niger special. Now, for this episode, we decided to do things a bit differently. And I thank my producers for suggesting this. We decided for me to take a back seat on the side of the set and just allow them talk amongst themselves. Just let them talk. These guys were in the house for months. Let them talk amongst themselves about just how much this experience changed everything. I went to some radio stations and they were like, you look lonely with you. I have Beyonce, I have K. Brule, I have Lilo, and I have one of my personal favorites, Bam Bam. Today's episode of With Today, what we are calling the BB Niger special of the hustle will really touch you. I second that. I had never watched the show. Yeah, I didn't oh my gosh, me too. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I was getting there. I never watched it. It was when you people went in because of the pain. I tried. I watched it. Wow. I was angry that they didn't pick me. Wow, wow, And I was busy campaigning for you. They actually campaigned though. But you know, nobody knew me then. My followers were like 1,500 people who knew me. You know, when you got into the house, immediately pictures came out and they're like, uh, yes, it's rigged, mm. you know, because they saw me, you, Tim, yeah, that oh, was picture Shelley. trended, yeah. that's yeah. true, we so did an elevator like, picture, oh, Big Brother is rigged, you know, yeah. Yeah. that's what they said, new people yeah. said too, because of a few people, that, because, yeah, because, because they can't people. explain something, you know what I think, same. you know how birds of the same feather flock together, so if all of us are friends and we have similar energy, yeah and we all go for an audition and they pick me. You guys try again next year. The chances of them picking you because you fit a character profile yeah. that they're looking for. And if we all have similar character personalities yeah. and they don't have that in the people they audition, they most likely will pick yeah. either That's of right. you as well. That's, right. That's what is happening. And people, people are saying, eh, Kayo, they yeah, tell yeah, us who you yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buka, hmm, you know. So, Kebri, like, finally, finally that, was, for your that was actually a great psychoanalysis of the whole situation. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah, what yeah, happened. So, Thank so where, where was Bifer that? Bifarleo, so yeah. now advice you to go for the audition. Beverly. So, Beverly talk, tells me, oh, okay, go, go for this audition. So, I go and I, I did my research. I was oh, Big Brother. I was like, ah. You know, any anyway in a way now, me I want to sell records. So maybe if I enter here now, yeah. I will come to sell millions yeah. of records. So that I just went based on that belief. And going wasn't just a case of okay, just pack bag and go anyhow. Obviously, like I said, fasting and prayer. But that period I was working. So the day of the audition, I didn't go back home. I slept in the office. The office was in Lekki. Let me just be poor my own output. After my colleagues were gingering, I was on a movie set in my Miss Songs production. Shortly after I was done. I just went to a friend's house in Lekki, freshened up. I went to Lagos Island, bought one jumper up and down like this. You know, I left the house 3 a.m. I got to the audition spot 4.10. Ah. 
Uh-uh. It was raining. So what was your number? 131. What? I'm not playing. <laughs> Guess what? Teddy was 120 something. Was, so he got I there earlier. Like, because the there's no traffic. Did, bro. Online. Bro, I got to oh, the yeah, audition. Oh yeah, dance was online. I got to the audition. Yeah. 5 a.m. The audition is I'm, I was I'm, 269. Yeah. I'm going to like Teddy was 265. <laughs> How the hell am I gonna get in when this gorgeous alpha man? You know, yeah, you know, I did the same thing. Yeah. I, when I was about to audition, I sat down and I started counting the people that were going to enter. I did not even know that they, were, even, they were auditioning <laughs> in Lagos or something. I was like, this, ah, this guy is so fine. Ah, this girl is very funny. Ah, you know, and I just. You will not be able to analyze I'm like, yourself. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. let, me let me just go. Let me just go there and just say what I'll be going yeah? But really, I'm really, really interested in how you did the audition because. It's a unique it's one. A yeah. Different. I, let's, let's hear. Okay, so. <laughs> um, my audition was, it came up online. Oh, Big Brother is open. You have to audition online. So, um, the thingy came up online and I, I sent in a video because it had to be um, a one minute video or whatnot. Yes. So, I sent in a video. And some days after, I got an email saying I've passed the first stage. So, I'm just like, okay. And then I thought, like, why do people say you need connect to go into Big Brother? Because I'm like, I just sent, I didn't even tell anyone, like, my friends, no one. Like, I just. Well, I kind of wanted to go for the show, so yeah, I had faith like I was going to get in, so, but into the house. To How bad did you want to go into the house? Uh, maybe eight. Yeah. Mine was like two or three. Oh, I, I, like, maybe. Uh, maybe my confidence was a lot because you guys got to see each other. I didn't see anyone else that was yeah. going, so I was just like, nobody's better than me, man. As at the time I went into the house. Um, not a lot of people knew that my dad passed on. Um, the day I got the call that I was into the house was the day I called, got the call that my dad passed. Oh, that explains why you were. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it was... I wouldn't say I was excited. Really? No. I mean, it was too extreme news. Um, oh, okay. um, my experience in the house? Your experience in the house. Um, Kevin, it was such a vibe. It was so annoying. Thank you for saying that because I feel like people didn't get to see so much. I don't think people got to see anything of me. They only saw the bad You're things. You're naughty. Yeah. yeah, they only saw the said naughty you were moments. Very annoying. So, <laughs> for one, I, I jumped the balcony, right? The point of that was to do something no one so else high. has ever done. Something that and no one will probably ever do because I'm a fucking white boy and we do crazy stuff like that. So you felt it wasn't going to be self harm. Bro, I was catching. But to them, it was self harm yeah, because at the end of the day, you yeah, ended up hurting yourself. Hurting yourself. You know why that's BS? So on my second strike, right? Yeah. Before my second strike, Big Brother called me to the diary room to ask me what's happening, what happened, what was that? You understand? They didn't give me a chance to say what that was yeah. for the first one. It was just like, did you jump because of a woman? <laughs> strike. Yeah. Okay. There was so, there was no chance for me to explain why I jumped. Okay. Bro, I jumped because I wanted to land in front of the ice cream, eat the ice cream and run back upstairs. It was supposed to be pure comedy. It was supposed to be pure funny. comedy. I mean, but then your you were tipsy. didn't match no. what happened. Sorry? It was tipsy. What, what, if he had done it sober, mm -hmm. yeah, it may have been a successful landing. But like brands now feel like I'm um, suicidal. Oh. Like, oh, if something doesn't go I, right, this one will kill himself. I would, I would, I would himself. tag you as adventurer. Yeah. Adventurous, yeah. eccentric, yeah. You know. but bro, I love my life. Do you know how awesome I am? <laughs> you guys, like, I've loved myself way I before mean, this Big is Brother. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Awesome. if if person, no, if person go kid herself, no, you know, go first get the woman. She not go be your girlfriend or your yeah. wife before you kill yourself. Really this story, yeah, the Big Brother story is part and parcel of us. Whatever we do, would keep on living with us almost forever. So if you don't you know, if I get married really today, to someone is still going to bring up T-Boss. Wow. Everyone's experience would have differed. I feel like my big brother experience in the house was very toxic and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. I was, I, I was subject to abuse, verbal abuse. I'm always anxious right now because of because so of she this. was really getting to you that Bro, much. Bro, it was it was terrible. Like in the real world, how does how would you deal with stress like that? You don't deal with stress like that in real life because you either you, But you, you handled don't. it pretty well. It wasn't obvious that it was getting to you. It looked like you were just reacting. Can you believe people don't know I'm a musician? It's on I mean, my it's some literally on my some, page. some other things would have overshadowed. Over no, no, but I sang negative. all the time in the house, but people tell me you didn't sing. And it makes sense now because they weren't showing they weren't they showing show, well, yeah. I, That's the truth. The thing yeah. is they, they don't end up showing. So when I came out of the house, I realized yeah. I was asking a few questions, they're like, you don't know about this? Mm -hmm. Oh. 
That means they did not show this. Yeah, you know. they didn't. So maybe they wanted it to happened. portray you a certain way. So it, was, it had to be with maybe who you were with. It had to be with your husband and whatnot. Oh, so once okay. they start their showing narrative. it, yeah, their narrative, yeah. Oh, so that's what they just. What so even if you do something else that is interesting, so, they wouldn't. So at what point in time on international did you think mad. the star price slipped from your fingers? Huh. Yeah, opening fresh wounds. So this is what happened. I'm going to sense of some things. Before it was time for us to go into the house, I had to audition, I had to do a few things, and that hustle experience wasn't nice. It wasn't pleasant for me. And I didn't want to do that for a long time. So I knew how some of our directors and some of our producers are not professional. They want to mess around with you before they give you opportunities and for what? or for change. nothing are you saying change waka pass with no pay that's the worst part are you joking corruption is everywhere and did everybody has a strategy bro i didn't i didn't have, did you have a strategy i think the reason i was kicked out was for one reason and one reason only. i said i'm going in the house to do love triangle right mm -hmm. because i felt like that's what they wanted to hear mm -hmm. okay so that got me in but my, my true intention was to catch crews. I'm on holiday. I wanted to have fun. This was this was gonna be Jackass 2.0 Nigeria edition. Like I was gonna be pulling pranks. I was gonna be doing crazy stunts. Like I just wanted to have fun, right? Okay. So when they saw that uh, this one is not doing love triangle, but that, that that is actually something interesting that viewers would want to see. I don't think. But that was they... what they signed him up for. Yeah, but that's well, what you were supposed to be the lover boy. You were supposed to come and like well, like. Lilo, did you know, have a strategy? Um, no. Cause I would say I just want to be myself. Like I'll be me. I'll just be normal. I'll be myself. No, wait, wait. No, doing but all as those you're videos, being yourself, the like all those videos like, that you are like, yeah, I'm gonna bring the key. Because I was gonna be myself. <laughs> I said I was going to be very controlling. I was going to be me, and I don't like. You didn't. Don't you like didn't plan Eric. Business. You didn't plan no, for an Eric to happen. Like, <laughs> do you think um, what you said, yeah. your strategy matched what you actually did in the house? Yes, actually. Because the only difference was people did not realize that I was getting, I was being myself, I'm the quiet person. But when I get used to you and you're my guy, like, I'm going to talk to you, like, we'll roll. Like, you get, you know me, you see, like, my whole lifestyle, like, me being fun to be with and me being engaging with people. But I was, I didn't know anybody there, literally. Yeah. That was where I, I saw you as my you know guy. I, I realized about me, brother. Yeah, at the end of the day, the truth is, there is no point having friends. Yeah, I, I've never watched because the show. Because when you think you have friends, yeah. they are not actually your friends mm. because they are there to win the money mm. as well. That's you know, um, so when wait, can we just take a short break? When we come back, because of the sex scandal that happened, it, it affected perception. So if maybe they had rated me high before because of that sex scandal that happened between Teddy and I, it kind of dropped my ratings. Do you think because you guys were... Um, a couple? In, yes, you were in that love space. Yeah. That was why the viewers found you guys not so interesting anymore. Hell no. That was not why. Hell no, because they weren't toxic. We... See, let's cut... Let's throw it out on the table. Because of the sex scandal that happened, it, it made, it, it affected perception. Okay. So if maybe they had rated me high before because of that sex scandal that happened between Teddy and I, it kind of dropped my ratings. That was the j conclusion I drew. Naturally. That naturally, if they had esteemed me high, that act must have, must have affected perception and dropped And I can kind of relate to that as well, because coming out, people were like, when I got into the house, everyone was like, oh, me, what not? Yeah. And I also feel like maybe my thing with Eric made people, you know, draw back, like, oh, no, I'm not going to go on that girl's team and what not, so. Oh no, we didn't have a thing. Like we just hey. we, we made that we used to kiss a lot. Stand up, no, <laughs> nothing else. We just kissed. Yes, they, so were, thought, they were always think, together. Yeah, they, think, they didn't socialize <laughs> as much. You see, yeah, the house has a way of drawing you. Yeah. The moment you connect with somebody, it takes a level of discipline for you to be attentive and know that. I can't let let it not be like saying that this person mm -hmm. and me come audition. Yeah. Do you understand? You, get, like, it, you it's have difficult. to find a way I mean, because after a while, natural. this person seeing it speeds up dating and courtship that's supposed to be like two years. 
in two months because nothing is distracting you. No TV, no you phone. Know, you're just, no you guys are just focused on each other. No each other, alternative yeah. like Even opinion. And girlfriend don't see themselves like that. Do you understand? <laughs> No alternative opinion, just your no perception of the and, person and, and that person's that perception it. of you. What and is the person this boy? Grows, <laughs> like who are you? <laughs> and the person grows more interesting yeah. and then you just want to keep knowing more, more you're and you're like, more. oh so okay, okay. Yeah. Lilo. Yeah. How have you been able to handle me attention? Uh, oh. Hmm. Okay, so the thing I always tell everyone I have a boyfriend because I actually do. Yeah. Okay. So. Are you ready and to you see guys somebody? got back together after? Mm -hmm. I would have broken up with you since. Why? From the, from the first kiss with Eric. <laughs> Probably was, what you did was a big deal, might not be like a big deal. Because I, I mean, I being on the, what if I was acting and I was meant to play the role of kissing that person all, all through the movie? So, so basically, how, how, how is he able to? Because, I mean, men are, we are quite, as much as we try to form our territory. Guy, yeah. Yeah, we like to mark our territory. Jealousy. We are quite yeah. um, egotistic. The truth is, we are not over that yet, but we're not breaking up because of that. But obviously something I'll still come up like a lot, but we're getting over it, but we're not totally so over it. We're on a journey to fix it. Yes, it. to fix it. As long but as the plan is there, you're going to stick together, yeah? Yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's good. He's a better man than I am. Yes, I know. Definitely. <laughs> okay. How does it affect your psychology when you're up for addiction? I usually detach because in my mind, I don't know what I'm doing that is making them vote for me or making them not like me. So I just continue being. Lilo, that was what how I did you handle? I, I didn't experience that. Oh, okay. yeah, well, everyone she was, was so up. confident. Everyone I watched her. Yeah, well, well, and everyone was up. Oh, the week I was up. She was like, oh no. I wasn't even dressed. That. She didn't even dress up. Yeah. I wasn't even going to pack. <laughs> then you told me, babe, Victor? just pack. I packed in like how 10 minutes. How were you evicted? So everyone, the second week, everyone was up for eviction. Everybody was up. 18 of us, except for the head of house and the deputy. So she, was didn't, she was too sure. So I was sure like... Oh, you were saying and, that? Uh -uh. Yeah, and what about this was if it was based on votes, I wouldn't would, like would have left as well because I was the fourth on the list. I there was like uh, three was people at the bottom. I, I, I thought they put, you know, <laughs> Lord 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 Lord. Yeah. <laughs> She was too sure. She yeah. didn't do makeup. She didn't even pack properly. I was sort of sure that I wasn't even her, sure. Even her um, I was big brother in... My interview, I told me where I was going to... She said she's good, she's not worried about it. I was shocked, I found myself with a lot of mommy. When I saw someone were on the plane, someone was like, God, you don't want to be. Someone was there crying. <laughs> no, because I was absolutely stunned when I heard my name. Mm -hmm. That I was, ah, I was like, Your own is good now. She knew my own was a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> my own was a Saturday. I didn't expect it. I was preparing that no, Sunday. No, yours was the take... best. You had no tension, no stress. Yours was like so it just called me. It was when I was. Yeah. Were you up for eviction? You up for eviction? I was up for eviction. After, after, after the party. But it was party, on a Saturday. Just... Ebuka okay. yeah. escorted me out of the house. Yeah. You had the best eviction. My eviction. Ever. I call my royal royal eviction because it was Bum -bum. quite grand. I feel like my my experience has been bittersweet. Mm. So on the one hand. Everybody knows me, bro. It's it's crazy. I don't even understand everywhere I go. And I thought Corona would be a great thing because now I have a reason to wear a mask, wear my hat, and wear glasses, that right? Means a lie. They, still <laughs> they still they still know. I'll go and buy shawarma. I'm fully covered up, and they're like, Ah, Kebule, Kebule. People know me. A lot of people know me, right? Now a lot of people say, Oh, it it, it puts them in a cage. They can't do what they used to do. Yeah, no saying, right? We're still back mm. where I want. I'm not gonna let anyone control my life and put me in a cage anymore. It happened once with Big Brother. There were a lot of mistakes made. I learned a lot. And the first thing I learned is never let anyone control you. Not my narrative, not my energy. If you're gonna be toxic around me, I know how to handle it. If you're gonna try and take a story that has happened to me and spin it in another way, I'm not gonna let that slide anymore. Thank you. So, Thank you. But that, that's your perspective. You can't really control how people see you or what people say about you. What you can control is how you react to what they're saying or doing. Because they're gonna talk you the way. Because it's, 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 if you say you can't let that happen, that's a bit far fetched. Are you gonna? Go I mean, I'll do. I'll do. No, I'll do everything in my power to set the record no, straight. Just, just focus on your energy. Focus on the energy you're giving. Focus on you and how you react and act. 
you can't really inf- if you don't want. So if I don't want to do something, I don't think it's the same. It's not the same for us because you haven't you can't received the same anything. amount of like negative energy. Whether that I negative have. or positive, you can't influence how so people react. So you see how you guys you. are talking about all the brands you've worked with, mm-hmm. right? Coming out of Big Brother, bro, my life didn't change that much. It's just a lot of people know me now. But in terms of the the impact it had on my life, let's say um, expectation versus reality. I went in there to sell myself as an artist, and I came out expecting that music brands would be interested in me. Can right? I? I'd be can I say so? I think I'm kind of. Bam Bam is actually saying the truth because for me, being in the house, everyone attached me to Eric, and trust me, since I came out, I've tried not to have that same thing going on with me i want people to focus on me my brand what i have to offer so i think you should focus more on that and ignore see, see what you guys are not ignore getting right. your, it. your bad press came from oh me and teddy's relationship your bad press is coming from me and erica's relationship my bad press is no brand cares who you're sleeping with bro but brands care that you are not mentally stable and you might kill yourself Brands care that, that you are... That is your you responsibility brands, to brands change. Brands care you can't that change you are okay. violent I'm person. sorry I'm going to cut did you. I, did I threaten D1 violent? No, look. You, Everything that happened in listen to what, was a natural try and listen reaction. To what but I'm they, saying. they've made it look like, oh, I'm this terrible person who, Good. Is, who, who tried to kill yeah, himself. Who is psychotic, who has, who has a, a, a Bro, dementia or whatever you want to say. And y'all know this. Look, so having, sorry, dear. having that perception of me in the media, perception is strong. Perception is all we have. You as can correct it. You can correct it. You can, correct you can change it. the narrative. I'm not you even can. bothering anyone. I haven't done anything bad. I haven't had any bad press since I came out of the house. But still, people will be talking, like saying these kind of things. It's like the aura, the energy around me is not who I am. So I feel personally like it has been very detrimental to my mm-hmm. and to then my career. what you have to correct it. I feel like a lot of people. Okay, I'm using music now. For example, mm-hmm. I'm a musician. I write my songs. I record myself. I mix and master myself. Every song I've ever put out there, I did from beginning to end, except for maybe the beats. So I know what I'm doing, and I know I'm good at what I do, right? But people didn't see that in the house. They didn't see me do music. They didn't see me do any of that. Any of the things I went to sell. The good qualities, they didn't see that. All they kept pushing was, oh, he's suicidal. No, I'm not. Oh, he's violent and angry. No, I'm not. And now I've come out of the house and there was very little. I literally have to force this now. The people that are like, oh, wow, Gabriel is such a good musician. And I see you guys and I love you guys, right? But you guys didn't know that from Big Brother. You guys knew that from me. Okay, the truth is, the truth is, you can't control what they see or how they see you, or what they see. You can we can't even it. feel entitled to make them want to like us because we are probably the good guy, or the hard-working guy, or... We can't do all that. Now, what we can do is on our own. Work on ourselves. You know, do what we can. Do what and you can. Hope we and we get, get the love, you know, get that's the, the truth. energy back. <laughs> How is I let's start with you. How is your experience been like in total after Big Brother in terms of what you expected to happen, what has currently happened, the trajectory it took your life in? Has it been helpful? Has it been hurtful? For me, I would say that I didn't spend so long in the house, so coming out of the house, I'm just back to my life before the house, basically. And I believe the show is not for you being in been on the show I think life actually starts after the show it's whatever you do with your time and your um, platform after the show because people tend to forget and I get people coming on my page or you know sending messages about oh you did this in the house and I'm just like we need to move on from that <laughs> are you do you have any upcoming project anything you're working on right now yeah I, could, I mean I, I, I understand up. it's COVID <laughs> yeah. you know, but in but this short space fun, of time yeah. um, probably it's work, yeah the Ciroc ad Okay. Yeah, it was fun shooting with my housemates because nice. it was like all four of us. Tell yeah. us, I mean, <laughs> no, no she I mean, if she's yeah. not ready to I share would, with I, us. Yeah, but I, I would mean. share like when everything is all together, yeah. but it's a work in progress. So, so people watch you, out for Lilo. Yeah, she's just watch out. Yeah. Are, you, are you happy? Great. Like, are you excited? And I'm super excited. I'm happy for the platform because I feel like anything I put out there now, people are willing to listen. So whoever wants to buy it, it's going to buy it. And whoever wants to ignore, ignore it. So. Yeah, I feel yeah. <laughs> so, uh, personally, I'm truly grateful for the platform. 
I mean, Big Brother brought my yin to my yin yeah. to me. You know, I got my zen on. <laughs> you know how I like to protect my zen? The Lord now gave me my zen, Zendaya, my baby. I don't deserve that girl. She is perfect. Um, the platform has made me highly respected in society. I mean, I walk into spaces and I didn't know that despite all that has happened, I command so much respect and people really, really value my opinion. I didn't know my opinion mattered. Um, I didn't know the perception or the narrative that was sold about me. I haven't watched any of my clips except the little snippets I see on social media and all of that. Um, I am a brand influencer, I'm a CEO, it has really, Mouse. I'm a boss baby, <laughs> but you know, long story short, I really, really am grateful to Big Brother for the platform because it has put me out there more than I expected and I am doing well for myself so far, so. Wow, well, nice well, one, well. That's... Your, your story is probably the most touching, most beautiful Big Brother story ever was, I swear. Oh, and every time make I hear it, every time I hear it, I, I swell up. It's like when I see a puppy, I just like... <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you, thank you. So basically, uh, for me, um, first off, I'm really, really grateful. Um, grateful to God first. I mean, it might be a cliche, but I'll tell you why it's not a cliche. Um, we were the first, uh, where this first set out a long time and coming out of the house two weeks it sort of meant that like you were just i don't want to use the word doomed like you know you know it was devastating for me coming out of the house two weeks and you know i'm like where am i going from here it was confusing for me honestly and sometimes i was depressed yeah and like I said, I'm grateful to God. I have worked with the biggest brands in Nigeria, food brands, and that is due to, it's not because I'm the most skilled person, it's just grace.